Beijing, Reuters, British Trade Minister Liam Fox said on Wednesday that London would continue to welcome foreign investment, after a U.S. panel rejected a Chinese acquisition of a U.S. money transfer company on national security concerns. Fox was on a visit to China, the latest installment in long-running economic talks between China and Britain, which has taken on new importance for Britain as it looks to reinvent itself as a global trading nation after leaving the European Union in 2019. The U.S. rejection of China Euro Trademark S and Financial Euro Trademark S acquisition of MoneyGram International Inc. MGIO, is the most high-profile Chinese deal to be torpedoed under the administration of U.S. President Donald Trump. Asked whether Britain would serve as an alternative destination for such Chinese investment, Fox told Reuters in an interview that he hoped the investment relationship would a euro work in two directions a euro, but that Britain would remain open. A euro or of course, we would look, as other countries would do, at our security issues in terms of investment. But the UK has traditionally been an open country, welcoming of foreign direct investment. And we Euro Trademark LL continue to do that a Euro Fox said. He did not comment specifically on the US panel decision. China is one of the countries with which Britain hopes to sign a free trade pact once it leaves the EU and London and Beijing have been keen to show that Britain a Euro Trademark S withdrawal from the bloc will not affect ties. Fox said that the issue of China Euro Trademark S service sector openness was a Euro E big issue a Euro for Britain but that there were more options than a post-Brexit free trade agreement, FTA, to get Beijing to open, including specific service sector agreements and mutual recognition deals. A euro or other are a whole range of tools in the box. And people tend to talk as though an FTA is the only tool we have available in terms of trade liberalization. Eat a euro trademark s not a euro he said. The focus on a euro e golden era euro of relations, trumpeted by China and Britain in 2015 when then Prime Minister David Cameron hosted a state visit by Chinese President Xi Jinping, has cooled under Cameron a Euro trademark S successor, Theresa May. In 2016, May caused a diplomatic spat by unexpectedly deciding to delay approval of a partly Chinese-funded nuclear power project. She later granted it, but not before drawing criticism from Beijing. May is expected to visit China later this month accompanied by a business delegation, diplomatic and business sources have told Reuters, though the trip has not been formally confirmed.